Tonight, we're at the world premiere of USA Network's highly anticipated true crime series, Unsolved, The Murders of Tupac and Notorious B.I.G. I'm Jay Styles, so check out all the interviews here with the full cast on E. U. R. Will. You want to accuse LAPD officers of conspiring in a celebrity's assassination. This whole conspiracy thing. You buy it? Brother, which side do you want? I'm on the side of getting this thing solved. Hey, he was 24 when he was killed. Tupac was 25. Kids, man. These two men were amazing. Their humanity is not frequently a part of the examination of them, and we wanted to bring that front and center and make that a part of the examination and really reintroduce people to the fact that they were friends and that they were so incredibly young and they had so much of their lives ahead of them when their lives were cut short. There, what, what was the last thought that Tupac shared with you just before he you passed away? Just anything that you can remember, recall. Pac wanted to do a lot more films, and um, he was talking about going into, um, I don't want to say uh, civic duty or social work, but community activism. And um, he also wanted to um, undercut the um, idea that, uh, you know, record labels and uh, the industry could profit off of black men killing each other. I've never been one to judge anybody. I, I don't want to judge anybody. That's not what I do. So, so walking into it was kind of like it, it. It was a couple of theories that I've heard that fit right in the script. I'm like, is this a, is this another one? But really sitting down with these people and researching for myself, I said, wow, this 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 stuff is true. This happened and unsolved. A lot of people are gonna get be able to see what happened behind the scenes that we didn't even know about. In, in your opinion, man, uh, what do you think from when the audience see this? Do you think their rece reception would change from who was involved in the assassination? For sure. I feel like a lot. I mean, a lot of the theories that are out right now. Was all right. Pox in Cuba, Bigs in Cuba. Like when you see this show, you gonna see they're not in Cuba, man. They they they're not in Cuba. But you you get a chance to honestly see a lot of a lot of the people who testified at that time period. You know the LAPD was running a thorough, hard investigation, and a lot of and there were some people who were trying to testify and you know get this thing solved. But then there was others who weren't. You know, so I think the fact that we got ten episodes to really show that light and, and show you guys a lot of facts, a lot of hardcore facts, real raw that went down. Um, a lot of people is going to be able to pull a lot of information and their own insight and draw their own conclusions. There's so much here that I think we have not really focused on um, that was connected and I think uh, contributed to the wrongs that happened. Um, and I think, you know, once you watch the show, a lot of things will be revealed. Especially like Anthony Hemingway, like, I mean, what a genius. So like to see his personal depiction of it, that's what I wanted. This series is unique because it combines multiple stories. It combines the cop stories, Pac story, and big story. You know, and it's two cop stories and two uh, 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 rapper stories. So, and these stories are intertwined. Uh, all the questions and the, you know, the, the speculations of what really happened with Tupac and Biggie, you know, just know that you'll finally, you'll finally get the truth. And I, I think that's a blessing because you know a lot of people will get some rest. Feel me on both sides. What would you like the audience to take away from this film? Uh, the, the, well, that you know, the the violence that we witnessed, well, some of us witnessed, and the whole East Coast West Coast battle, and you see later on how it all ended up being for nothing. You know what I mean? So we lost two great icons, and a lot of trouble was around. A lot of things that you didn't know were going. On. A lot of other people affected as well, all senseless and pointless. And so I just want people to see that and see if these icons can be touched like that. Then you know the rest of us, we're you know we're not exempt. Tupac and Biggie didn't hate each other. You know, the whole West Coast and East Coast beef, it wasn't because of them. You know, it's when you're a superstar, sometimes it's easy to kind of get pulled into the hype and the rah-rah. You know what I mean? So people will say, oh, Tupac and Biggie hated each other. 
well, how do you know? Well, that's what the media said. That's what the newspaper and that's what the news is saying. But, you know, do you know them?